Remember that nightmare I had in the last walkthrough? Well, it's about to come true again. Ugh. Pogo and Gogo. I had a horrible experience with Pogo Pain, so this better be way easier. The good thing here is that there's no, like, boxes to get. You just create squares, so no one can steal your, you know, points from you. Of course, they can crush your dreams by stepping on your spaces, but that only becomes a loss for them because, you know, they're not getting your spaces on your own. And normally they stay in their own little square, so as long as you're in your little sink down here, uh, most likely you won't be bothered by the other opponents. And of course, Coco has to zap me every three freaking seconds. And of course, Coco comes in my way because she wants to be an idiot. Obviously, I'm too lazy to move, so I'm going to stay here and Coco, stop jumping in my space. Alright, I'm moving now. Ah! Unless 
unless you got like the whole entire screen covered, maybe you might have a chance, but even then you'd probably be losing my life. Yes, I did it. Oh, uh, this actually wasn't that bad. I only lost one time and the rest of that I actually made it. Uh how long did Jungle Bash take me? I I think it took me like three and a half minutes. Okay, well, Space Bash is definitely way easier than um Jungle Bash is. It's like the easiest level ever. No challenge at all. Except the fact that there are holes that can be created by the TNTs and nitros in the level. But other than that, it should be a problem. Relic challenge, win two rounds in a row, you know, I already know. Okay. Now you are done. Done. Something. Don't worry. Oh, that's awesome. One person already fell on a hole. To the bottom of the head. Is that nice? No. So, yeah, I'm gonna pummel you. Okay, I wish I could pummel you for a pong, but like, he has passion on the Rio, why the heck were you just flinging all those blocks in like the great abyss? I'll just wait here. You guys, um, kill yourselves. Ah! Well, there goes one. Now we got another long shooter, though. Why is he just zapping everything? This is the crystal challenge for you. He does remember how to throw, right? There we go, now just one more thing. Good job, I... What the heck, that was a horrible miss? Thank God! If he threw that at me, I could've kissed my chances of making it in the time limit. I know the time limit's been raised, but for some reason... I don't know why, my video cam Twitter, the thing that I used to make these levels, um, it just won't... What? That did not hit me. I'm gonna start this back up for my first victory. Can't take that, Cola Kong. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey guys, it's, well, back up again, and, um, Kong fell in a freaking bottomless pit, so... Haha, <laughs> there you go, you suck. Wait, wait, it's one. Boom, yes. Running this face, okay. Good, yeah. yeah, spun into him, that means I only have seconds to get out of here. Oh, way to go, then, good guy. You threw a block for your first time. Actually didn't fall on a freaking bottomless pit in the beginning of the level. Great job! <laughs> oh, I love when that happens. It seems to be the number one way people die. Screw texting while driving. I can just throw people in bottomless pits. This is Sparta. No, that didn't work. But that was fun. Uh -huh. Okay, come over here. So we go into the hole. Oh crap! That was a twist. Does it mean I suck if I lose to Bingo Dial twice in a row? Yes. Ah! Yes, I got to the same predicament, but this time, well, nothing different. It's the same predicament. Yep. Ah, this is part of you. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm so happy. Thank God I got through that. Oh, my God. Okay. Well, I guess it's time for me to say my line. And the next part, we we'll go in the Desert Fox, get that gold relic, and move on to Warp Room 3 and start even more crap. Yes, I'm talking about embolism again. Alright, so see you in the next walkthrough.